I guess I missed the memo with bring your dog to work day. What's going on everybody? Jason coming at you with another Chicago Auto Pros detailing vlog. The last couple weeks have just been absolutely nuts in here and I haven't had a whole lot of time to be able to put all the vlogs together like I wanted to. You ever feel like there's just not enough time in the day to do what you need to get done? So what I'm gonna do is I have about three weeks of footage that I have put together and I'm gonna just do a recap of what we've done in the last couple weeks. To do myself a favor and so I don't go crazy, I'm gonna put two weeks of footage into one episode here. This is gonna be episode 16 for you. Um, I think we've done like 12 coatings in the last couple weeks. We've done a ton of washes and a ton of other details, so it's absolutely been nuts. February is gonna be another crazy month. The Chicago Auto Show is coming up, so I wanna do a special vlog for that one. At the end of February, I'm doing a lot of uh, traveling. First, I'm going to San Diego. Lumar's having their annual conference there uh, for window tinting and paint protection film. So it's gonna be me, my wife, and Greg are all going to that. Uh, and then from right from San Diego, I am going over to Utah. We're going to Lux Auto Spa. A friend, Cougar, uh, who is one of the distributors for Modesta, they're actually holding an event at his shop. So super excited to see his brand new shop. Um, I've seen some pictures online and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll have a special video of his shop too. After that, I come back for four days and then I go straight to Houston. And there's gonna be the Seacourt's Finest Verge event. Again, another group of great detailers get together, um, talk about detailing, do some workshops and stuff. So very exciting. I'm gonna bring you video footage from all that so you guys can see what's going on down there. Other than that, I'm gonna get straight into this vlog. We're gonna talk about what's been going on here at the shop. Like I said, we've been very busy, so let's get to it. Start with the, the black Model S P100D that we did. We did a full Expel wrap on this, and then we ceramic coated it with Modesta. We did the whole nine yards on it. We did the wheels, we did the windows. That car was absolutely beautiful when I left, and uh, the guys did it pretty quick too because we have a lot of Teslas in and out here, so the guys know the car, they know the way around it, so they can get it done in and out pretty fast. The GTO that we had here for a little bit left the shop. It was trailered out. Awesome having these old cars in here. We did a full paint correction on that. And then we did Modesta BC04 on top of the paint to protect it. We had a Nissan Maxima come in. We did window tint too. And then we wrapped the roof actually gloss black. So it's uh, I like doing that on white cars. It looks really good where you have the windshield, the top roof, and the actual back glass. And they all kind of look the same. Kind of sets it apart from all the other cars or other Maximas out there. I actually did to my wife's car too. She has a white Honda CRV. So I like that when you can be able to set it apart from those cars a little bit. The SQ5 that we had in here for a full wrap got finished up, put the badges back on, and then Tados put uh, Crystal Serum Light over the rest of that. We've had a couple Audi TTs in here. We had a really cool Audi TT RS that was in here for full correction and Modesta BC04. The other TT that we had in here, we did a full correction and we did C-Quartz Professional on. We also wrapped the spoiler and the mirrors in a carbon fiber vinyl. We have a new employee here, his name is Rob. Hi, my name is Rob. He's actually been here for about three weeks now, but the footage that I have, he just started. He's been great, awesome dude. He's caught on really quick. He's learned all the processes, so he's up to speed with everything that we're doing here and got him going, so look out for him on more of the videos. I actually had a chance to record an episode of Jason's Detail Tips. Uh, the title on that episode was Five Things I Wish I Knew When I Started Detailing. Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Detail Tips. I'm your host, Jason, and today we're gonna be talking about five things that I wish I knew when I started detailing. Videos kind of targeted more towards a beginning detailer, some of the things uh, advanced detailers might already know about. Um, but I wanted to share these things uh, over my detailing career. These are five things that really stood out and really helped me and pushed me along to better myself in detailing. Uh, a lot of cars. We had a white Tesla in here. I believe we did window tint to it. I can't remember. And we ceramic coated it. And I, I looked at the footage and I can't remember um, what uh, coating that we did. So um, that one was in here. We had an Alfa Romeo that came in, a Julia. We did window tint to that. We did a Mercedes E-Class that was also in here for window tint. The Porsche GT3 got fully wrapped. And then we put a layer of Crystal Serum Light over it. 
Also had another Jeep Trackhawk in here, and I, we had a red one in here previous. This one was the black with the, it had like this pearl flake in it. And I think I have some after shots. I actually can't find them, so I don't know if I'll have them or not for you. But the pearl flake was absolutely beautiful in this car. Um, we did a full correction. We did Modesta BCO4 on that one. And then we actually wrapped the B pillars in Xpel paint protection film. Next, we had a red. Tesla Model X, and we did a full front end paint protection on that one. And then again, Modesta BCO4 on that. We had one week where we had like three or four trucks in here. It was just like truck week. And I love trucks, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of real estate when you're polishing trucks. We had a Ford Raptor, which is my favorite. That's my dream truck. I'll have one someday. I love this thing. It's awesome. We did full correction on that. We did Modesta BCO4. And then we also did the B-Pillars and Xpel on that one. We did a Dodge Ram truck, which we did a full correction on. And then we did Secorts Professional as a coating on that one. Um, it also had a small dent in the back. So we had Dennis, our dent repair guy, come out and fix that. And he did a great job. Our friends from Blood Type Racing brought us a Hyundai Sonata that they built out. And uh, it was pretty cool looking for a Sonata. Uh, that one was at uh, SEMA this year. And it's actually going to the Chicago Auto Show. They wanted some window tint on it. So so we window tinted that for them. So if you're in Chicago and you wanna go see that one, go to the show. BMW X5, another full correction in Modesta BCO4. Last but not least, we had a GMC Sierra. This was my father-in-law's truck um, that I brought in. And we did uh, paint protection film on the front end. So we put some window tint on there on the front two windows. We put Lumar Stratus film on that. And then we polished it out, compounded it, and made the paint look perfect. And we put two layers of Secorts Professional. So that was the gist of it for this week. That was all the, all the bigger jobs that we had in here. Um, of course, we did a bunch of washes and a bunch of smaller details at the same time. So please stick around. I have a little highlight reel next that's coming up of the last two weeks of footage of everything that we've done, everything I've talked about here. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe below if you want to be informed of the next videos that are coming out, and we'll see you next time. What'd you get? A chair. It's 10 o'clock, Oscar. Is it lunchtime? Um, I brought two meals today. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, they scratch really easy. Oh, that's ugly. So we're going to put x over these ones too, um, so we don't have to worry about scratches on those anymore. Busy day. Looks like I'm going to have to get my hands dirty, so I'm going to put this down for a little bit. Hi, Dan. Hi. We're in the weed car. The devil's lettuce. It's getting a signature interior. This is Rob newest employee. I'm going to teach him how to do a signature interior on this vehicle. We're doing a signature interior and we're going to do a batteries dude. We got to hurry up. We're doing a signature interior and we're going to do an odor bombing because it smells like weed. Good day, great day. Uh, we got the Audi prepped. Um, we got most of the Raptor all compounded. We're gonna polish that tomorrow, we'll put a coating on it. Dodge Ram's all coated, we're gonna polish that tomorrow, get coating on it. They didn't finish the GT3, we had a bunch of washes and a couple signature interiors that came in, but it was a good day.
Hi, Caleb. <laughs> hey, Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Hey, Caleb. End of a long day, end of a long week. The guys kicked ass, I'm so proud of my guys. They did awesome, we knocked out seven coatings this week. Uh, Tadas, Will, the new guy Rob, thank you guys so much. They're working six days a week, they're killing it, they're doing awesome. Uh, very, very, very proud of them. Thank you to the Glen Allen guys who came out a couple days. Um, we could not have done it, could not have gotten all the cars that we, we did this week without them. Uh, we're still a little behind. We actually have like four or five more coatings next week, so we gotta keep on going. Um, I didn't get to my father-in-law's truck. I'm actually gonna stay late tonight because that's my ride home, so I gotta get it done. Um, we just have to put the coating on the ram back there, and the, the Raptor's all done, that's ready to go. Um, this one's being picked up on Monday too, so. Thanks for watching. I got a truck to polish out and coat tonight, so see you next time.